These numbers are a punch in the gut. The unthinkable is happening. Ontario lost at least 400,000 jobs last month due to the fallout of this terrible virus. When it comes to reaction to the COVID-19 crisis, there's a lot of uh, support, a lot of applause going towards provincial premiers across the country. NDP Premier in British Columbia, John Horgan, getting a lot of people saying, this guy's doing what's right. Francois Legault of the, the CAC in Quebec, getting a lot of support. In fact, his poll numbers are probably the best in the country. And an awful lot of people who did not support Ontario Premier Doug Ford stepping forward to say, this guy is the right man at the right time for the right job. Earlier today, Ford stepping up and reacting to the fact that so many people are being thrown out of work and admitting that this is the type of thing that keeps them up at night. But these aren't just numbers. These are real people. People who are struggling out there. And it breaks my heart. It keeps me up at night. But fighting for these people, fighting for each of you, is also what keeps me going. So that's for reacting to so many people being unemployed, reacting to the the economic side. Look, we say economics, but really we're talking about the ability of individual Canadians to feed and house themselves and their families. Is Ford willing to do something to step up and say, once we get beyond this, or while we're in the middle of this, we're going to do something about it? Well, the Premier is saying that he is going to set up a special committee about getting Ontario back to work once this is over. That's why today we're launching the Ontario Jobs and Recovery Committee. This committee will chart a path for Ontario's economic recovery. So when we beat COVID-19, our province can come back stronger than ever before. And Ontario will take our rightful place as the workshop of Canada. Now, the big question out of all of this, you look at the provincial modeling, you look at the federal modeling, when will that be? At this point, we don't know. It's a question that we continue to try and put to federal and provincial leaders, be they elected or government officials, and they simply cannot say. They say we've got to flatten the curve, we've got to, we've got to see infections and deaths going down before we move to opening things back up. But at least they're starting to think about how we get people back to work, how we get people back to being able to look after themselves, how we make sure that we can all pay our bills and feed our families at the end of this. Because while the economy is a very ephemeral term, while it's something in the abstract, the ability of each of us to pay for our rent, our home, our mortgage, our food, those are very real things that we can all relate to. And at the moment, far too many people in this country are not able to do that, not through any fault of their own, but because the government is systematically shutting down the economy. That's a problem. That's why government is required to step in at this point, but why they also need to be thinking about what comes next.